Since we did those Top Gun uh, F-14 videos, splitting the throttle and all that stuff, everybody was like, can you do it with any aircraft with two engines? And theoretically, I guess you can as long as there's, you know, the more space there is between the engines, the more effective differential thrust will be. And so it got me thinking, what if Maverick was Russian? <laughs> and he was flying a MiG-29. Exactly how effective could we make the MiG-29 using split throttle differential thrust against one of the best one circle fighters, the Hornet and the high off boresight AIM-9X. Let's try it and see what it turns out to be like into the merge one circle here. And we do have the left AB in right now. I'm trying to get a roll going, 9X just dodged that one. And here's my lock, give me the lock, give me the lock. I'm into right AB now. Left AB again. I'm switching as best as I can here to keep the roll going. And those 9Xs are unable to hit me because I'm so tight and I'm rolling so well with them right now. It does feel like I have better control with the MiG-29, man. Rolling again. Fox 2. And that hit the ground. He almost hit the ground too. He had to pull up, but he's dead now. Watch this. Fox 2. Oh, it missed. Oh, wow. Okay, back into the split throttle in order to get this nice roll. Get the lock and Fox 2. Splash 1. <laughs> Splash 1 Hornet. Maverick was Russian. Would that make his name Peter Micholovich? <laughs> I don't know, but I think you guys can see the tactic in the MiG-29 with the differential thrust is actually somewhat interesting. Um, it definitely does seem to work in any aircraft with, uh, you know, two engines that you can split the throttle of. Again, just like the F-14, because of the separation between the two engines, it is more effective, but it's also equally more dangerous because uh, if you overdo it, you can spin the aircraft out. Uh, the MiG-29, not really going to go into a flat spin, but it does seem to do an oscillating thing with the nose that can drive you into the ground. Once again, into the one circle here, Fox 2, that's not going to hit him. It's way too close. Just the fact that, you know, the MiG-29 can roll and keep up with the, the Hornet is a big deal here. But I think I messed this one up because he's about to get a Fox 2. Engine fire. Ah, uh, right yeah. Engine fire. Good hit, good hit. That one's my bad. That was my bad. We'll do it again. I think I got it. I was a little late on the turn reversal there. Uh, again, because of the differential thrust, I was a little too slow with everything. And uh, I think that's what led to the Hornet getting a kill like that on me. But 
you know, just looking at the performance of the MiG-29, you see how this thing can keep up with the Hornet in not just the one circle, but its ability to like roll with it and keep the the fight nice and tight, keep the lift vector on the Hornet. Uh, all of these things are a lot easier to do using the differential thrust. Again, if you do it right, if you overdo it, it can be completely detrimental to you. Uh, it ha can have the exact opposite effect and could probably actually get you killed. Now that being said, I don't want to make it sound like the MiG-29 is like a bad dogfighter or something. It's very good as well. Um, but the split throttles will give you a little bit of an advantage here. Got a lock. Obviously he's in the sun. Not much I can do with it. And I'm going to roll over the top. A little bit of separation here, so lots of flares. Use the split throttle to roll it over on top of him. Get the lock. And Fox 2. And that should actually hit him. Yes. Very nice. See? Split throttle at the top there. Made sure I didn't linger up there and really brought the nose down quick and allowed that Fox 2 shot. And he seemed like he was having some trouble queuing his 9x. For whatever reason, he wasn't able to get it off the rail. Now, I know there's a lot of people in the comment section who, you know, love the MiG-29. Those of you watching, you absolutely love the MiG-29. You know how good it can be. And then there's a lot of people out there who kind of uh, underestimate the MiG-29 because of its combat record. A lot of that due to the undertrained crews and stuff of that nature. But the MiG-29 is honestly a very good dogfighter. And at slow speeds, for at least a turn, which is important, one turn is very important, it can give you very similar nose authority and nose position as a hornet in a slow speed turn uh, it can't maintain it like the hornet it doesn't really have high aoa uh, high stall speeds and stuff like that like the hornet but it can give you one really good turn against just about everybody fox two i can't get the missile to come off the rail but his did his 9x went right over top there come on give me another lock here split throttle to get this turn look at that beautiful and that's a huge advantage he's out in front here thought i could gun him but he's off in front this is a perfect fox 2 opportunity and that's one dead hornet split throttle made the difference there got him out in front splash one Also, I haven't fully, you know, thought this out yet. I was just thinking about it right now. But technically, if you're out of burner, if you're, one of your engines is out of burner and he fires a Fox 2, that can be very beneficial in itself, right? Not necessarily for differential thrust. It's already providing that advantage. And then on top of that, it's the fact that the engine's not in burner uh, can be a big deal. It, it's better than both engines being in burner, essentially. Um, so that's an interesting thing to consider as well i'm not quite sure if it makes a huge difference i haven't obviously done tests like that i just thought of it right now but uh mig 29 doing pretty well here against the hornet all around in these dog fights fox 2 that's obviously not going to track because of the sun expected shouldn't have fired it in the first place close with the guns but not close enough using the differential thrust to get that nice tight turn and get out Still behind the Hornet. Look at this. Beating the Hornet in one circle turns is crazy. Gunshot possibly. Missed. Alright, give me the Fox 2 shot. We'll do that instead. 
Look at this. Just squeeze the hornet out in front. Gunshot. Yeah, there you go. Man. I don't know, man. I think I think the MiG-29 feels a little different with the differential thrust. I wouldn't consider myself an expert in the MiG-29, but I think I've gotten a lot better since we've done so many videos with it now. Uh, just by the nature of spending hours behind the, the stick, you get better and to get the more of the feel of the aircraft and all that. Um, and I think I have enough now that I can feel the difference with the differential thrust. And I can't say it's a huge advantage, like it doesn't make a huge flight envelope difference, but there is a bit of a difference in the way the aircraft rolls and obviously yaws a little bit which if used correctly can have a pretty major impact on the dogfight which is not different from the f-14 you know very similar to the f-14 when it comes to the split throttle stuff let's get a lock here roll it right over the top and he's already in big trouble i can tell that fox 2 will probably miss yes it did possible gunshot here as it crosses the nose yes that's one dead hornet and i gotta say man i'm enjoying the mig-29 this thing's pretty cool if you guys want to see some more mig-29 content videos in the future let me know in the comment section maybe we can make it happen